kids, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, I have a brand new veggie burger recipe to share with you. It is a black bean and quinoa veggie burger. These are so good, they're spicy, there's kale in them. They're just like, it's like a veggie burger with a kick. So healthy. Can you see my socks? That's embarrassing. Now we're starting on the burgers that'll get you farting. Just kidding, farting is good for you. So I've, in here I've got about one and a half cups of black beans. I cooked these myself. You can use a can of beans, a regular 16 ounce can is about a cup and a half once it's drained. The main thing is you just wanna make sure you drain them really, really well. If you are using canned beans, drain them in a colander or something and then give them a little rinse and shake them dry. <laughs> So once they look like this, like pretty much all the beans are smashed and mashed, I'm gonna add the quinoa. This has already been cooked. This is about a little over a half of a cup. And you can totally, like if you're making quinoa for some other recipe, like my quinoa salad, might I suggest, you can totally just cook extra and then keep it in the fridge and make these burgers later. And I'm gonna add some garlic. We're gonna saute some onion to add to. If you wanted the garlic to be less sharp and spicy, you could saute it as well, but that's up to you. So that's it for our basic mix. I've got also, we're gonna add some kale. We're just gonna grab the, the leafy part and then just pull the stem away and it should just sort of come off like that. So it's a really quick way to de-stem collard greens and kale and stuff like that. Then once you get all your kale leaves, we're gonna sort of do a little shift and nod just to get a really fine chop crunch this all up into a tight little log or a wad or a doobie or whatever and then just slice it really really thin mind your fingers don't chop your hand take it from me i've learned that the hard way okay and then i'll go through it the other direction just to get these really small. So what you want is about a cup of kale leaves if you like compacted it into a tight cup. Great, now, and then I've got my onion and jalapeno. We're gonna just saute these together to get them softened up and then we are halfway there, folks. So I've got a warm skillet here. I'm gonna add just about a teaspoon of oil and we're gonna saute our onion and jalapeno here. So we're just trying to soften everything a little bit. I want to keep some bite, some integrity in those onions, so it's not gonna take longer than a minute or two. And we just want the kale to sort of wilt down a little bit, turn bright green, release some of that moisture. I'm gonna add a little couple pinches of salt to help the moisture release, kind of sweat the onions a little bit. And I've got some cumin seed here that's whole, and I just sort of ground it up in my little mortar and pestle, sort of toast up the cumin in the skillet there and some black pepper. Okay, this looks good. So actually once just the kale turns green and the onions are just barely starting to turn translucent, that's fine, we can turn the heat off. Okay, And then I've got to the bowl with the beans and the quinoa and everything, I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. So this is a vegan Worcestershire sauce that I found that is hot, it's not really that hot. But you can find vegan ones that don't have anchovy paste in them, or if you don't really care that much, you can just use regular, or you could use a little bit of soy sauce. So just a smidge of that. And it just adds a depth of flavor, sort of a umami, umami. Okay, and then we'll add our hot veggies. Oh, this handle's really hot. Excuse me. My hands are so sensitive today. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of breadcrumbs. Just start with like a tablespoon or so. If you're on a gluten-free diet, you can use gluten-free breadcrumbs or you can use um, ground up oatmeal. And that's our binder. I've also made this recipe and added cheese, like grated cheese, which is really good. So that's also an option for you. Okay, so you're gonna end up with sort of a dough like this. What you wanna do is make sure that it's moist enough <laughs> to stick together into a ball. So this looks good. Now what I'll do is get my same cutting board and just whatever breadcrumbs you have left, kind of sprinkle them out. You could use a plate too. 
Then we're gonna shape this mixture into four patties. So it'll be like almost a cup of dough for each one and just kind of compress it into a ball and then flatten it out. Doy. I'm sure you all did this in preschool. And then dredge it in the crumbs. So I'm gonna keep sh shaping these. If you want to, at this point, when they're dredged in crumbs, you can freeze them on a plate until they're frozen solid and then store them for later and then whenever you're ready to cook them, you just cook them like normal but add a few minutes onto the regular cook time. And if your dough is too dry, um, you can always add a little bit of water or something, just a tiny bit at a time, like a teaspoon at a time. Or if it's too wet to stick together, then add a little bit more breadcrumbs because a lot of it does depend on how dry those beans are at the beginning. Okay, so now you've got a couple options. Also, if you wanna cook them right away, you can bake them on a parchment lined sheet with a little bit of oil for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees, or you can pan fry them, which is what I'm gonna do because it's a little faster and crispier. Just gonna add a little oil to my pan. You could probably do this with a nonstick skillet and some spray or something too. But homie, don't play that. And then we're just gonna cook it for two to three minutes on each side until it's nice and golden brown, and then we'll make sandwiches. All right, let's see what we can do here. See how she's looking. Oh, that's beautiful. Got our little crispy breadcrumbs and the quinoa gets a little crispy there. Kind of redistribute the oil a little bit. Yeah, boy. So these are really, really quick, obviously, because there's no egg or anything in them that needs to cook. You're really just kind of heating everything through. So, brilliant. Okay, this looks good. Um, time to make a sandwich, guys. Or you could just eat it like this, but I'm gonna make a sandwich. Cause sandwiches are better than not a sandwich. To make the sandwich, I've got a bun. You can use whatever you want, but I'm gonna put a little mustard down. And y'all, you know, burgers, veggie burgers, it's a very personal thing. So you can really put whatever you want on yours. This is what I'm gonna put on mine. If you have a problem with that, Take it to my dad, because he taught me how to make burgers. Just kidding, don't talk to him about that. Uh, and then I'm gonna add some onions. Red, please. Some tomato for vitamins. I'm gonna add a little cilantro, because we got this like Tex-Mex thing going on here with the black beans and the cumin and jalapeno and everything, so I think that'll be nice. You could totally add cheese on top. You could do whatever you want, man. It's a free country, dude. I'm gonna add a little bit of lettuce, just like that. And then finally, instead of mayonnaise or anything, I'm gonna add a couple slices of avocado on top. And then, show you how I like to do it. I put the lid on it, and I like to mash it down a little bit. And then I like to eat it. This part you're probably familiar with. Look at the pretty side while I'm eating the bad side. Mmm. Mmm. Now that's a fine veggie burger. Yay! Quinoa black bean veggie burgers or black bean quinoa veggie burgers. Whichever way you want to say it is okay by me. There you go, guys. Hope you like this recipe. I hope you try it. Please leave me a comment and visit highlycooking.com for printable recipes and make sure that you also check out my other veggie burger recipe if you like this one because that other one's like real popular. Way more popular than me. It's a sandwich song, and it's not too long, cause the beauty of a sandwich is it's not very slow. Fuck, that was terrible. Um, sorry, I will work on that.